create a double exposure. So open up Google, look for portraits. We're going to go find a picture of a person. Now when you guys are looking for photographs, you're going to want to look for something that's really big. So I always select tools, size, large, just to make sure that the photo that I have is really big. Oh my gosh, look at this picture of Hugh Laurie. That is just beautiful. Okay, let's find something really cool. Um, all right, this guy, he looks he looks a little stricken. Okay, we're going to use him. So I'm just going to drag and drop over on the desktop. And then I'm going to look for something that kind of matches his personality. He looks like a deer in the headlights, so I'm going to find a deer. It's going to be perfect. All right, deer. Oh my gosh, look at that cutie pie. Um, let's see here. What else would work? Maybe I'll do a, a, like a the shape of this deer. Whoa, look at that monkey riding a deer. Okay, we're distracted. Moving on. This deer looks really great, but he looks kind of small, right? So maybe, hmm. Oh, I keep coming back to this little thing. So I think that might be our one. Okay, I'm going to take this deer, plop him out of here. Okay. All right, then I'm going to close down Google. And I'm going to grab both of these by just clicking and dragging, bringing them down to Photoshop. So right here, when Photoshop is nice and dark, that's when you want to drop it in. Doop, doop, doop. And we wait for the 500 people who created Photoshop. Hit OK. All right. And we'll slowly await for them to arrive. OK, so here we are. So this is where you get to kind of make some choices. If you want to bring your deer on top of your man or your man on top of your deer, that could be pretty entertaining. I'm thinking of mixing the deer in with the man. So I think I'm going to grab this image and bring it and drop it right on top of my dude. OK, now the hard part about this is that this is a layer. So if you look over here on the right side of the screen, OK, you'll see that the background is sitting here. And then on top of him is the deer. So it's literally like two pieces of paper on top of each other, okay? So that he isn't just glued to the table, so to speak. We're going to right click on the background, layer from background, hit OK. And now both layers can be interchanged, which is kind of nice, okay? So we'll put him, we'll, we'll kill him, we'll get rid of him, okay? So now that I have this, oh, I've got my man right now. I want to be on my deer. So I'm going to go over to layers again. And make sure I'm clicked on my deer. Okay, here he is. He's so cute. Okay, the deer, not the man. The man is not my type. Okay, but I'm gonna click on his background with this tool. This tool right here. Oh, can I get it to? Hello. Okay, this tool right here is magic wand tool. So you're literally Harry Potter doing this. Okay, and I'm just gonna delete the deer's background. Beautiful. Okay, to get rid of that. Oh, this is tricky. I call these dancing ants that are going around this deer right now to get that to go away. Command D. It means to deselect. Okay. All right. So now I've got this really cute little deer. He's adorable. Look at him go. All right. So what if the deer's face is like right on top of him? That could be really cool. Over here in this area, there's a thing called opacity. Opacity? Opacity? I've heard it said both ways depending on if you're European or not. Okay. I'm going to take the opacity, I'm going to bring it down so that we have a mixture of man and deer. Pretty special right there. Okay. Now he looks kind of funky with that going on. So I could just, I don't know, we could get the eraser, get a really big eraser. Maybe we could erase everything but the, the ears and attach it to his face. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that could be entertaining, right? <laughs> I have no idea. That's adorable, actually. Okay, but what if you wanted to add more deer stuff to this picture, okay? You're going to have so many different options, you're not even going to know what to do with your life, okay? Um, what if we brought more deer? Let's bring the deer back in. Oh, not both of them, just the deer. Beautiful. He's so cute. All right, I'm going to bring the deer back in. Do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of his background. Okay, so now we've got lots of deers. Command D to deselect those ants. Okay. What if we took this chunk and did something fun with it? Um, let's delete part of our deer. We, won't, we don't want his head anymore. We already have ears attached. That's pretty entertaining. Okay. What if we put this in the background? That could be really interesting, right? I'm going to change the size of this because I want it to be a lot bigger. So I'm going to hit Command T to transform my deer and make him a lot bigger. 
I'm thinking, what if we put some of his stripes over top of this guy's face? That'd be kind of cool, okay? When you're ready and you're done transforming, hit return. That means that you are totally done moving things around, okay? Um, let's go over here. Hmm, what do I want to do? Should I make the deer opaque? Oh, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I like that. But I'm going to get rid of more of its body because I think it looks kind of weird. So I'm just going to go around the edge with the ear and just delete that stuff so it kind of fits the shape of this man. So he looks nice. Maybe I'll get rid of some of this stuff. I don't know. I mean, that looks kind of neat. It's, it's very weird. But maybe I'll play with the erasers. Let's go and look at the erasers because there's some really fun stuff. What if I did a maple leaf? Right? Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I'm liking that. That's pretty awesome. Oh, God. That's pretty, pretty special. It's like we're in the forest right now. I'm loving it. All right. What if we add some of that in there? That looks pretty cool. I think it looks really nice because of all these little spots in there, too. I think that looks neat. All right. Some more leaves going on here. So he's kind of frayed. Looks cool. All right. What if we turn all of that to black and white? We could go up to image adjustments and black and white it so that it kind of fits in there. I don't know, I like the color, so maybe I won't change that. Remember to always go up and play in image adjustments, because there's a ton of fun stuff that you can do with that, okay? But that's the basic parts of trying to fit two photographs together, okay? There we go. All right, when you guys are done playing and done experimenting, hit File, Save As. Do, do, do. I'm going to name it Man and Deer. No! Deer in the headlights. That would be such a better, better title. Deer in the headlights. Okay. And then I'm going to change it from Photoshop to a JPEG so that we can save it in Team Drive. Okay. Then I'll hit save. Hit OK. Alright. And then whenever you're stuck in Photoshop, you can just click on the blue background to get out. Okay. And there he is. Ah, oh, what a cutie pie. Totally done. He looks beautiful. I love it. Okay. So there's a really simple way that you can Take two photographs and merge them together. <coughs> Bye!